Say what you need out loud. Can you even name that song? Oh, yeah, you know what? I should have got one of these with this all around it, just everywhere. I should have them do that to one or two of them. I do have quite a few of them. I mean, I have hundreds of them. Not really hundreds. I've got 40. They're not for sale anymore. If I take that off, I look stupid. Yep. Well, we're just going to wear it like that. Okay, good. Is that all the light I got? All available light. Does anyone, does that make sense to anybody? All available light. One hand only. So if you watched the last video, you, you saw this project, you know? Now, originally I had built this. If you go back and watch some of my older videos, this was pretty much built. It was ready for trim and ready for the finished install on this. But what I realized is that piece that was going right here that you would see right this way, it was just a sheet of plywood. Now, it didn't really feel like it had the character that I want this house to have, and it didn't have the, the absolute beauty that I want this house to have. So what I did was I made this out of some, some walnut. I had some, some four-quarter walnut. I had it planed down, straight lined, all that good stuff, to a three-quarter inch. I put a tongue and groove in all of them, and then a little chamfer on the edges, chamfer down the middle, and I made this to go here. Never check this. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, we might have to cut that. Yes, we're gonna have to cut that. For sure, we're gonna have to cut that. Okay, we can fix that. And then on the back, I did all the pocket holes. And then I also, because of the way I hang my metal trim, I needed to make these little relief cuts in it. Right here, you see this little relief with the thing, the chamfer there, this little weld goes in there. But, I mean, not really seen. This is seen, this is what needs to be pretty. I'm gonna do my best to not show you the countertops because the countertops are in right now. But if you will follow me on any type of medias of socialness. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna put a reference right here. Cool, I got one reference there. Maybe do one here too, why not? Oh, I already did, look at me, I was thinking ahead. At least somebody's getting some head around here. So on this, I notched that out for the vent. I did find this, the, the, I don't know, three by 10 by four, whatever, found that. Notched it, drilled the hole for the electrical. You're about a 16th off where you should be. Sorry, right, no, ain't nobody gonna know. That one ended up being off too. We can't be mad. Did I put a mark there? I did. God, I love when I'm smart, when I'm drunk and I do smart things. So obviously I figured all my lengths and stuff so that the vent fits in here. And so, and I've already done this. So when I uninstalled it, I put marks here. So I knew where to put this piece back in. Making sense in dollars. Good. Did you really screw up like that? You did. You put the fucking pocket hole right where the thing's at. <laughs> when I put the pocket screws into this piece, I made sure to put them so that the pocket screw comes right into the center of these pieces, these three pieces. And I did glue all this together to give it some more strength and rigidity. I think that looks much better, don't you? I think so. Look at that. Installed. Next up, trim. Oh, I left those little screws in the shed. Bitch. So all the trim in the house is obviously steel. And then anywhere I have like this, you haven't really, I didn't film any of this project, but all this stuff, all this is trimmed out in metal. This is two inch by one inch, 14 gauge. I'm not gonna tell you the gauge because you guys get mad. You didn't need to use that size metal. Shut your mouth, shut your mouth. Nobody wants to hear your shit. I need to get better with that song. I'm working on it. So that piece obviously is gonna be steel too. So I had to weld on these little like tabs. Don't look at that weld, it's really ugly. Okay, no one will see it. Yeah, you will if you look for it. But I made sure that it's, I got the distance. So then when I just take it, I can hopefully, I never check this. Yeah, and then I got these, these little screws that I picked up from my local hardware store. Support local businesses. Carry what I need and I'll support you. That's it. Otherwise, Amazon I go. You ever see the documentary about the um, the farmers markets and how like the food they sell at farmers markers markets isn't even locally grown or sourced? It's literally brought in in a truck from far away. Like the boxes that they use that has the produce in it say China, 
and they're like right in plain sight and people don't even acknowledge it. Back to my saying, can't fix stupid, just keep reproducing it. I think that looks sharp. Your backsplash should have stopped over there and then things should have happened over there. This one, this one I welded a little bit differently. This is, ends up being flush. So I can have this thing protrude out this way more so it matches the same look that all my cabinets are going to have. It's going to have that same reveal all the way around. 99% sure I got to cut that. I, and I needed the screws anyway, so it's good. Take off a strong 16th. So I didn't figure this with the backsplash on here. This backsplash is about a 16th, a little bit stronger. 15 gauge, 16. Oh, you know what I should start saying in weird things? 19 gauge steel. That's gonna piss them off even too, even more. Do you know the metal workers are almost as bad as electricians? Almost. I'm gonna go cut this and then I'll be right back. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna cut it. I gotta put it on the saw and cut. You've seen that, trust me. Do I look like a disaster? I am. Daniel, I'm disappointed in you. Pernet, how are you going to be in this video? Whenever I film up high, you are never in the videos. I will be right here. I'm right I'm right here over here. And they can see me. That's all that I need to be in today's video. Okay? Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Whoa. Damn, that shit looks fun as hell. You can suck a dick and go to hell. So listen, over here on that side, I used three quarter inch screws, but because I... I notched this out for that. I'm using a tiny little half inch screw and they're black. We are a diverse and inclusive YouTube channel. Oh God, that looks like shit. You just donkey fucked that. Yeah, donkey fucked. Let's try that again. Oh yeah. You'd have to go like this to see any of those imperfections. Nobody ever will. Except for anyone that watches these videos, they're gonna be like, oh, I can see where you made a mistake. You're not allowed in my house. Get out. So because steel is so difficult to work with, I kind of have to get to this point and then I can make this piece because I can't, I could do the math and figure it out, but the chances of me messing up, which I did on this, on one of the pieces, um, it's better just to, to measure this now, cut that piece of metal, weld those tabs on, I'm gonna do a piece of two inch up top here and I'm gonna have to weld some angles on there at 7.16 degree. When you're figuring your roof on your tiny house, remember that angle, that seven, whatever it is. Mine was 7.16. I've used that number on so many different projects, but it's important. It's like 7.16 and then the opposite of that, 90 minus 90 from that, then that's the other number. But you don't even know that, like that. That angle right there is the opposite of a 7.16 degree. Okay? These little bitches are expensive. A little dime baggie of screws. Literally, each screw is a dime. It's a dime bag. Got a couple dime bags. Okay, let's test see fit this. Test see fit. You are so smart. Please fit. Please. Oh, yeah. Ah. You see what I did there? I'm gonna keep it right there. That's where it's gonna end up going. Let's just finger f that real quick. Yeah, good. So on the bottom of the, so on the bottom of the, so on the bottom, on the top, the bottom, this is the top, the top, but the bottom is what you don't see. Hmm, how do you say that? So on this side of the range vent, I love when I'm smart. So on this side of the range vent, there's, there's a hole here, or you can push a hole out the back. So you could technically vent this thing straight out the side of your house. I'm not, I'm venting it out the back because I didn't want to add width to my tiny house with a vent. So it comes with this thing. You can either mount it like this, so it blows out the back, or like this. It kind of acts like a, a check valve or a one-way valve or, a, you know, whatever you say. Everyone's different. That's important to be different, you know. So we're going to measure that five and... Three sixteenths. Five and three sixteenths. One small expense that you guys don't ever see. Batteries. You know how many YouTube channels I've seen start to document their tiny house? Like they're so excited, gung ho at the beginning, and then all of a sudden it's just done. I'm done with this. 
I go back and I read comments from like a long time ago. Every once in a while, I, like, I binge watch all my videos to see how things are. And I read the comments. And somebody commented on one of them the other day. It really made me feel good. You know, saying something along the lines of people don't understand what goes into filming a video like this. And thank you for putting the time and effort into these projects. I appreciate those comments. I'm pretty sure Amazon knew I was going to be doing something like this because in my suggested things to buy was a rubber roller. This should have fit. Oh, shit. I really, I did math. Yo, what the f***? I swear to God. Oh, I can't even get that up in the hole. Yeah, you can. Just spit on it. This came with all these different, like, fittings and shit, and I cut them off with some tin snips, but I'm going to take this to the shop, angle grind these tabs off, clean this up a little bit. This should, in, in logical thinking, yeah, dude, why? It should fit. Another break. Maybe a refresher. I just dropped an entire box of Q-tips. And I wish I could say that that was the first time I did it. <sighs> Pin it. Pick them up. I notched off those corners. Doesn't matter because I'm going to tape it all. But I made it nice so it's easy and it'll secure down on that nicely. And then I also I dry fitted it over it. And I realized that the edges of these things only allowed this thing to open to like right here. Because it would hit that corner. So I lopped off those corners. I'm not really understanding what the whole point of this thing is. Maybe to prevent air from back flowing into the house. But I've got a you know check valve on the vent outside. Kind of want to just take it off altogether because eventually if this gets stuck down, then it's absolutely useless, and I'll have to reach my hand up through nowhere and just hack it off somehow. There's a fan in the way. I'll never be able to. I'm talking myself into ripping it out. Leave it. Should be good. So I got some sheet metal screws. I'm gonna do a little pre-drill though, just because it makes it easier. I'm not sitting there for four hours. Tiny little screws, and they have a pre pre-drill thing on the end. You can't see that. I don't know why I'm showing it to you. But if you don't know what that is, they they exist. They're a thing. Just a lot of checking. Five and an eighth. Four and three quarters. Um. I can't believe I'm working on top of my brand new countertops that I just spent a thousand dollars on. If at any point in the near future I don't put out videos, the whole reason is it's because I'm broke because of the countertops. They screwed me up. I'll probably talk about it in next video. It's going to be a walkthrough probably. The wall, your drill bits suck. Absolutely sucking. And I don't have any drill bit. I might, I might have some. Spoke too soon. Yeah, I do, but they're not the right size. Something's better than nothing. That's what I tell girls. You. It's gonna go right into my finger. Oh. <laughs> Tape it again. Why are you taping so much? Any HVAC guy will tell you that you tape every joint. And they'll probably say like, Take a credit card, too, and do all this special shit, but hey, I already feel like I'm doing doing more than the average bl**** I would do. Oh, I forgot to tell you, my mom finally came and saw my house. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't film it. It was kind of funny. I wanted to film it. So my mom, I've told you this before, she doesn't watch my videos at all, which I'm completely fine with. I kind of prefer it that way. So, otherwise, she would literally say the things that I say she would say. Um... But yeah, she came and saw it for the first time. Well, but Daniel, this is not bad. You're right, though. The, the pictures just don't do it justice. Online, you know, I see the pictures you're posting, and it's, it just doesn't do it justice. This is absolutely adorable. As long as you don't move back home with me, I don't give a shit what you do. There's all these cracks underneath here. I'm just taping over them. I know you're thinking, that looks like shit, Dan. I ain't gonna see it. It's sealed, is what's important. Want to get that moisture out of the house? Ow! If I cut myself on that one more time, I'm gonna get mad! I mean, that works. That's all that matters. Okay, let's try it out. Oh no. Oh no. Some bird sh 
shit on it. We can fix that right there. Fix that right there. Look at that. Are you with me? Oh, that's good. I can't wait to light that up. That is Instagram worthy. Hey, if you're not following me on Instagram, Tiny House Customs. Also on Facebook. The links are working below. I figured out most of the old links aren't working because I was stupid, but links are in the description below and they're correct. Now you're going to do the electrical and the vent pipe. Turn off electrical power first. <laughs> oh, f yourself. I didn't talk about this at the beginning of the video or not. I don't remember if I talked about it last video, but these things are really important. When you're cooking, it creates a lot of moisture. Getting that moisture out of a tiny house, I can't stress this enough, is very important. Um, I've been living in this house for two years, so I'm kind of learning a lot about living in such a small, confined space. Um, getting that moisture out is important. A good bathroom vent, awesome. This, getting it out, outside. It's going to reduce the mold that you're going to get. So I wired this up, couldn't be any easier. Black to black, white to white. There wasn't a ground wire, so I drilled a hole and I took a screw and I grounded it to the metal frame, which is pretty much typical, I would think, right? Is it? I probably shouldn't ask. Somebody's going to tell me regardless, but yeah, that's wired up. That wire comes up out there, it goes in the wall right there, and then it comes down and it comes to here. So I'm going to have to take all this apart, cut the power, connect this into the live wires that are in there, and then we'll be good. Next thing I'm going to do is the vent. Not going to show you, but obviously from here to there. So I installed a flexible semi-solid pipe. I don't know what that's called, but I like it. It's better than those really flexible, like, plasticky, not plastic, but like metal, I don't know, metal paper ones. This one's a lot more like durable, but I mean, this isn't going to have, it's not like a dryer vent, so it's not going to have shit running through it. It's pretty much clean air. There's a filter here, so it should be clean and I'll never have to really clean that. Uh, but I connected that up there with a hose clamp and a lot of tape as well as here, hose clamp, a lot of tape. This fitting I couldn't get perfect, so extra tape right there. Ran the wire and I also came down here Took this apart, I went and killed the power. It was too complicated, I couldn't do it without cutting the power. I would have gotten zapped for sure. But, hook that wire up. So finally, this works. Are you ready? Are you ready? Wow! <laughs> Does it look, yeah, it looks good. I mean, I'm kind of blushing because it looks good. I mean, that is what I've been wanting. Do a little black trim right here. Trim here trim here and it looks good and then this fan it's got two settings two and one it does open the flap I, I visually looked up there to see making sure it was opening that flap it opens it and it's good one thing that I did notice is that this thing's set up to also backflow like I might have said earlier in the video but air you can set this thing up so that it just basically pushes the smoke right back out into the room um, so what I should have done which I probably will do, is um, seal that off better so that no air comes out of this upper vent right here. There's two small little cracks, about an eighth inch wide by about an inch tall on each side. If I took this apart, took the motor out, which is pretty simple, two screws, two bolts, I can take tape and I can wrap it into that radius so it's pushing all the air out the back. So I won't have any smoke coming through here. Because there is a little... It's a little disappointing. I, I mean, so minor. Do not light a fire in your house. Oh, God. Okay, look at the smoke. Ready? Well, look at the apple. Look at it. See, it comes out the top a little bit. And it's just wasting. Yeah. You see it? It's working, baby. Yeah, yeah, you suck it. Yeah, it does push a little bit. I need to fix that, and that's going to bother me for the rest of my life. Man, that nut is really hard to get off. <laughs> yeah, I said it was easy. Did I not just say that 2.6 seconds ago? Middle fingers, middle fingers for all. Obviously, air is going to travel the least resistance. Didn't say that right, but you know what I meant. It's travel at the path of least resistance, yes. And so it's pretty long for this thing to go outside. So if I seal this... I think we'll be better. There's no way. I need to. Oh, yo, use some Roxel. That's fing brilliant. I'm gonna take some Roxel insulation and cram it back in here. 
Psh, good old Roxel. Always come, coming through in the pinch. Look at so I got a lot of scrap. I'm just gonna take this, cram it in there. Oh, this is a freaking genius idea. Mm. You drink much, Dan? Yeah, all the f***ing time. I'm telling you. I used to build houses professionally, and I don't know a single contractor that would go this extra mile and do these little things. I mean, honestly, when I had my countertops done, that was the first time that I had a contractor come in and do something, and I wanted to kill him the entire time. I was like, what are you doing? You're doing a shitty job. Let me do it. Get out of my way. And then I walked away at one point and he installed this piece right next to my sink and I never got to see how well it was siliconed. So I just put a temporary light bulb in there for now, but I need to get a LED. That thing's putting off too much heat for my, for me. But that's it for this project so far. I mean, obviously I got to do two pieces of trim and then make the doors, which are going to match this, match these, which you haven't seen, but... This is, once this is done, we're, we're getting there. We are getting there. Lots of little things to do. So to my Patreon supporters, I am sorry that this month has kind of sucked. To my non-Patreon supporters, I've been sick. I don't know what's going on. Went to the doctors, had some blood work done. They don't know. They said um, best thing to do would be to cut back on drinking. But they're not sure what's going on. I've been taking it easy, watching what I do. The heavy lifting is what I think is causing. I think I tore something in my abdomen. I don't know. I don't want to get too much into my personal shit. But that's short story is don't know what's going on. Wasn't what you think it is. Not that what you think it is. No, I'm not going under and having them stick something up either end. This one or that one. It ain't happening. Not yet. It has happened once in my life. Okay. Hashtag me too. <laughs> So I think next video that I'm going to do is going to be probably a kitchen walkthrough. I'm going to give you kind of like the full tour of this thing. Hopefully by then I can finish this trim out around here. Finish these doors. Probably not. Won't get that far. Because the doors literally take a month to make. Finish this trim out. Finish all these little pieces of trim. And then uh, I'll give you a, a full tour. You can see the counter space if you haven't seen it already on the Instagrams and Facebooks. But yeah. We'll go from there I guess. Something scratched the f*** out of that, and I'm not happy. It was me. Burn it. Oh, key. You know what? That is violence. I don't do violence. It